Ladies and gentlemen, taking a quick look at this Merchant Life, a... Um, I think this is just like a merchant simulator type thing with some realistic features instead of a fantasy setting. It was sent to me by the developer for free for purposes of review back in early access, but I never really had time to take a look at it. I've been quite busy recently with everything going on. But finally taking a look at it now, it's, I believe, out of early access as of last Friday. So it is fully out now, so I expect this to be fairly polished and everything. Um, unlike my usual quick looks that are tended to be games that are in like early alpha and beta with a lot of bugs and oddities in them, I expect this to be pretty flushed out. And we'll take a look at it. Um, options wise, not not really a whole lot going on. It's it's a bit bare bones, but that that's okay, I suppose. It's like one of those pixel art type games, so you don't really, you know, there's not like you know, ambient occlusion or anything like that to turn on or off. Empty slot, sure. There is payback. Father was father vanished and left me with his debts. Meet the growing monthly payments to eventually pay off his half a million coin obligation. Good God. Or a vague and unhelpful message eventually results in our merchant becoming embroiled in a deadly conspiracy that threatens the very kingdom of Peregrine. Okay. Or free play. Build your merchant empire your way without troublesome story or, play or payback requirements. You know, I don't know. Maybe free play? We can try free play. Tutorial? Yeah, okay, sure. Bounce of opportunity and danger. Do Did I know the peregrinish word for danger also means opportunity? This has led to so many unnecessary deaths caused by confusing signage. Well, relaxed. Attacks on my caravan are rare. Um, so that that's fine. Or demanding, where the, the road is just absolutely insane. Okay. The standard, I guess? Ah. Okay. Kind of a breakdown. I'd like a custom. Would be nice. A custom's always good, especially if you got breakdowns like this, because it could be that I want just a normal experience, but I feel like buildings are too expensive or so. So I could drop that down a little bit to something a bit more casual. That'd be nice. Willow, sure. Decent amount of customization going on there. Yeah, fine. Brown legs, sure. Uh, with the headband. And that pack. And a, f a massive fishing rod. Uh... I don't know, that looks pretty travel -y, right? And we get two horses named Reginald and Herbert. Armand and Herbert. Fine. Why not? Background soldier. Bonuses to combat, combat mission rewards, and mercenary recruitment. Or Sailor, Resilient, Major Boost to Cart Capacity, Reduce Penalties from Cart Damage, Extra Deployment Time in Battle. Fast, Stable Hand, Bonuses, Travel Speed and Horse Upgrades, Cart Wear from Travels Reduced. Scholar, Smart, Improved Agility to Avoid and Flee from Danger, Gain Experience More Quickly. The Smith is Industrious, Better Crafting and Reduced Building Costs. And Seer, who's Intuitive, Useful Market Events Last Longer, Specialist at Search Missions. I don't know, Smith. I'm typically up for smithing. Big capacity bonus, not a whole lot security or conceal. None of it, and like, no speed. And Sailor gets like... Super shit metric ton of capacity. Double that of the smith, but nothing else. Is there like a balanced? Not really. You sort of got to pick. Yeah, alright. Well, I guess we'll go speed, I suppose. We have determination for the trait bonus. Uh, I'm assuming that's crafting output increased by one. Town bonus march, building cost reduced by 25, I can only assume. Not entirely sure on that. We'll do that though, I, I guess. Having a tutorial dream. It's not one of those hand-holding dreams you've been hearing so much about, though. You just need to tick off all the tasks from the checklist. To start, press on Woodford. 
Woodford. There's a below average price breakdown there, looks like. Uh, maybe wood, booze, some leaves, um, some ice cream cups, and medical anvils. Okay, okay. Above average price, some yarn, shirts, and uh, wine, presumably. Go to the town hub. Wood for reputation unknown. The woodiest town, the side of Oakville. A small border town near Holback Forest, Woodford is a sleepy rural community with a homely reputation. They're very proud of their dressmakers here and host a market festival centered around them during high summer. Woodford has also won the most flammable town award 25 years in a row since Oakville burnt to the ground. Nice. Congratulations, I guess. Uh, wants me to go to the market. There's Town Explorer, Tailors, and an Explorer event, and something hidden. We'll, we'll go to the market, we'll follow along. Buy goods. Yeah, shit. I wanted that to maybe move out of the way a bit. Uh, right click on a settlement for details. Only have permits to travel anywhere in the forest and heartland regions. Okay, so back to the wood forb hub. Oh god, I just closed the tutorial, didn't I? Ah, shit. Okay, we're on our own now, I think. There are two pages of common goods. Grain, timber, meat, hides, iron, and ale. Herbs, fruit, and wool. Okay. Uh... Below average price. I'm assuming that it goes for buying and selling. So we could like maybe pick up timber there and head over to Rando's above average price is wood. Right? Is that am I getting the am I getting the 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 goal of this here? What do I oh I got three thousand. Okay. Well buy some, I guess. The price doesn't seem to change. I'll buy a bunch of wood. Uh, ale average cost 78 to 82. It's currently going for 72. How's that doing here in Randos? Man, they need like, they need everything basically. But not, not what I'm seeing. Okay, um, well, let's just keep it simple. I'll just buy as much wood as I can afford. The price is now 28, which is quite steep. I probably got screwed a little bit on that. But okay. And there's a market tax of 20. The amount of tax increases, which each good purchase and is automatically deducted when they leave. Oh. Okay. So currently, a tax of 20. Gold? Coin? Sure. Because I bought 20 units. Alright, well, I didn't uh, account for that, but oh well. So we'll head out to Randos then, I guess? Road security's excellent. Road speed is poor. It'll take 43 hours to get there. Goodness knows what'll change by the time I get there. Reminds me a little bit of Gazillionaire. I'm sure there's a bunch of games like this, but the first one that comes to mind for me is Gazillionaire, which is a quite old, uh, I think, DOS game, actually. That was all about, like, uh, traveling between planets in your ship, and you've got a bunch of competition going around doing stuff, too. So you could generally check out the markets and see, you know, what you can buy for cheap uh, at one place, and where you need to go to sell that for a high price. Ideally, it'd be something a little more exotic than wood, but oh well. Uh, and it looks like it's actually telling me what the... Uh, major demand is here because I've got wood so it's telling me that wood is definitely where I should go there yeah that's not just because I've clicked it so there's that I guess that's nice um, I guess we'll do that kind of a normal chance of being attacked it's out of out of 1 to 10 we're at 4 so that, that's kind of okay I guess car conditions just fine weight penalty for each I eight items carried I suffer a reduction of one from the cart speed I mean, fine. We'll just go for traveling. The price of wood changing slowly over time. And we've made it. Family nature's bounty. Holy shit, those trees. Uh, Randos is within the boundaries of the Holback Forest, but is actually to be found inside an enormous artificial arbor. 
A large clearing where the trees still encroach above as much as they can. The druidic scholars found sunlight here to be at least 50% more dappled than anywhere else. The city also features generous parkland and lakes and is known for production of tools, particularly its famous rand axes. And also home to the Hunter's Guild, said to be among the finest marksmen around their motto, we are amongst the finest marksmen around. <laughs> Uh, major demand. Demand for this resource currently outstrips supply. Prices are much higher than usual for 137 hours. Ah, so we had plenty of time. Well, uh, I'll sell all. And we made a pretty cool profit because I think it started at 3,000, right? So that's pretty nice. And, uh... Let's see here. Unlock hint. Reputation plus. Reputation. Reputation. A lot of reputation stuff. Alright. So I need more reputation to get hints, uh, I guess. Fine. At level 2, I unlock the tavern. Level 3, I unlock the building. I can just view my cart. Upgrade preview. Ah, uh, for wheels, I guess, right? Yeah, it gets more spokes. Or the actual carriage itself. A little more room, I suppose. And horses. Get a little bit of food. A few structure slots that I can uh, eventually do, I guess. Uh... Yeah, okay. I guess we'll go... Let's go for upgrading my wheels. So we have a higher top speed. And we'll upgrade the horses. So now we have a pretty high top speed, I think. 6.4 miles per hour with just two horsepower, because, you know, two horses. Uh, fine. Let's take a look at the missions. Donate for a bunch of reputation. Two wheat, two wood, and a, a, a pink... A pink instrument of some form, I think. Meat? Is that going to be meat? Probably meat. Escort a letter to Lancer for 539 to rep, and it will take... Ah, I can... I have, I have to do that in 10 days. I become a slightly better target until I complete this. Or collect peasants at Woodford and return here. Well, shit, I can probably do that. That, that gives me the most and still just makes me just a slight target, so fine, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, are you guys selling anything cheap that Woodford needs? Below average? Yeah, I don't know, it's all just kinda... kinda whatever. Well, while it's below average, let's buy some of the fancier stuff here, like fruit. Because the fancier stuff, obviously you'd want to pick that up before this cheap shit, so then you can maximize your profits. So yeah, we'll go for the nicest thing that's currently cheap, which is fruit. I'll buy, uh... I'll buy eight, because every eight reduces your speed, right? Ah, okay, seven. So we'll buy seven. I still have to pay the eight tax, unfortunately, but oh well. And there's a surplus of iron there at Woodford, but oh well. It just, it just feels weird heading somewhere without any goods on me, you know? Like, I feel like anytime you go to a town, you should buy something. So what's this Taylor's thing? Oh yeah, changing my appearance, okay. Sure. Collect mission. And then we gotta bring him back. Mark it. Uh, does anybody remember what I bought these for? For cheap, right? So that's like a slight profit if I were to sell that. Herbs are super duper cheap. And I think iron was... Yeah, iron's extremely cheap. So we should get up to 15 capacity. With that, uh, that'd be eight, nine, ten. Where's my overall ca ah, capacity there? 
Uh, so yeah, 15. So that we don't suffer another weight penalty. Although really, I should probably just buy all, right? Like, it's, it's that's really cheap. I should just buy all. So I bought everything they've got. Cool. And they still got the wood shortage going on there, but because I bought all of that, it's still expensive here. So fine, back to Randos. Not sure what that is down there, that eight. That, that goes down when I travel though. So mission's done automatically. I suppose so. Okay. Uh I can I can just do that again. <laughs> Escort a chest to Woodford. I'll do it. And then I'll collect peasants there. I'll do it. So we're a pretty strong target right now. We got the iron that we can sell. 88. That That's fine. That's a decent profit there. And these are still really cheap. What's, so wool. It's tracking wool here and I'm not really sure why. Do I use wool for something? Oh, that's... Okay, that wasn't on the UI. That's just that town. Okay. I see. So, to Woodford. Yeah, alright. Nothing happened there. Collect the peasants. We bring them back. A little bit back and forth here. I was kind of hoping to get attacked to see, like, what that is. Uh, herbs. We can buy some herbs. And you've got some missions. A secret letter to Randos. Well, I'm heading there. There's an event happening. Smallest little shrine. The caravan passes a nondescript greystone shrine, squatting just off the side of the road. The shrine itself is not particularly notable, but there is something odd alongside it, something much smaller. You squint a little and lean towards it, and yes, you can see now that it is unmistakably a much smaller shrine. You decide this warrants a brief investigation. The smaller shrine is perhaps six inches off the ground, roughly carved from a similar stone to its larger neighbor. On the front is scrawled a crude image of an ant, receiving some sort of offering and looking appreciative. It is impressive that this can be gleaned from such a small image, but it is unmistakable. Alright. Uh... I could... I could give it a fruit offering, I guess? I don't know. Ants are famously fond of fruit. Actually, looking in, the offering the ant is receiving in the carving does look a bit like a grape. You leave several because you're a firm ally of the ants. Ants are like the merchants of the insect world, hardworking, underappreciated, personable if you give them a chance. Uh, Alright. And that's both those missions complete already. So we can explore for six hours, I guess? We'll do that, see what that is. One of these things. Did she appear in your dreams or your nightmares before you ever laid eyes upon her? Sometimes you think she might have. You are sitting in a tavern, chatting amiably with a few regulars when suddenly she is at the table as well, blending in as if she had been here all along. At a break in the conversation, she asks a riddle. Which of these four is the odd one out? Carpenter, blacksmith, barber, engineer. Uh... Carpenter, barber, engineer. No. Oh. Uh, carpenter, blacksmith, barber, engineer? I mean... The barber's not making anything, so... Barber. You say the barber is the only one who doesn't need raw materials to do their job, and she nods, offering you to buy another drink. Offering to buy me another drink, okay. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Great, now you get to buy me another beer. Uh, okay. So 400 experience and 400 er and what's sure 
Okay, so exploring could probably be worth doing a bunch. Um, uh, let's cart or we'll repair for 81. That, that took a bit, I guess. And let's see about heading to Atten. Which there's a grape surplus there currently, but yeah, well. There's also a Lancer way out there. For 48 hours, there's an iron sh uh, iron shortage there. But clicking on that, I can't seem to go out there. Skill sidebar, you can unlock useful new abilities for your merchants. Spend an upgrade point and unlock a skill. Oh, okay. Sure. So we can do... Experience. Horse Shouter. Short-term cart stat bonus boosts last twice as long. Horses respond well to yelling briefly. Which leads to Concealment, Cheese it and Red Line. So that's more about just like going and getting out. Panic Station's deployment time at start of battle increased by two. Everybody do something, we're under attack. Tavern Trawler plus one higher slot when under attack, the more the merrier. Cart Enthusiast, 20% reduction in cart upgrade prices. You know enough about carts to get a good deal. And bear... and bore others to tears. Probably that one. That sounds nice. 25% more goods available to buy in all markets. Merchants always keep a bit back for their best customers. And increase caravan capacity by 10%. Shit, I'll go bargaining. So there's, there's that, I guess. Profile. I can see my stuff. Fine. End missions, right. Alright. Well, let's, uh... How did I... Ah, arrows to pan. Let's go to Atten and check them out, I suppose. Do you have any quests for Atten? Archon. Elderly peasants to Archon. 695. Find a hijacked horse in Archon, Woodford, or Atten. Ooh. I think I'll take both of these, though. Bringing a bunch of stuff to Archon. That sounds just fine, and that's way down there. 74 hours to get down there. Road speed, good. Road security, good. Alright, let's go. Deployment time of better fighters seems to be higher, so have a mix, sure. The most important place there is, and a bunch of gold for the escorts. The capital Peregrine, Archon has stood for a thousand years. The grand symbols of nationhood are clustered around its ancient hub where suburbs are packed in right up to the grand city walls. Like most capitals, the residents do have a certain sense of superiority and prices tend toward the excessive. Aha, well. They currently got grapes going for, or fruit rather, for a pretty cheap price. So I'll buy... Fuck, just all of them. Why not? A secret letter to Arrow. Click letter at Randos, then return here. It's a bit far away. Find roving, crow, roving cow in Arrow, Oxtown, or Lancer. I have 17 days to do that. I, I suppose. Secret letter to Arrow. And we'll look for a roving cow. Arrow, Oxtown, or Lancer. Arrow, Oxtown, Lancer. Okay, so we'll... Uh... Yeah, to Arrow first. And my cart's still okay? Yeah, we're fine. An apothecary is here. Search. I guess there's nothing here. Okay. Uh, right on target. Name for the river upon the banks. It has grown. Arrows a pleasant town despite being rather prone to flooding. Tanneries making leather from animal hides are a cottage industry here, and a growing potter's quarter in the town has made it a popular source of all things pottery as well. 
home of noted sculptor uh, Jorg B. Thatcher, whose somewhat obscene statues are especially popular in the capital. We'll explore. Pickpocket. The marketplace is especially crowded today, which holds the exciting prospect of plenty of potential buyers for whatever you've hauled here. Suddenly, a youngster barges into you, shouts a vague apology, and departs. After a moment, you realize the weight of your coin purse is no longer pulling at your belt. We could chase them. Speed and justice are your allies now. Cut them off, use a street layout to my advantage, or call for help. We'll chase. You explode into a run with the kind of, kind of acceleration that only a recently robbed merchant can achieve. You're gaining on the clocked youngster, cloaked youngster, and he looks back in concern. But then you find your, but just then you find yourself tripping over something and clattering to the floor, doing yourself a nasty injury in the process. You curse loudly and drag yourself up. Ugh, minus 400 coins, but I gained determination. And we have another another point to spend here. So if I go uh, profile. Yeah. I have a little more determination now. Not sure what that does for me, but okay, cool. 30% reduction to higher cost. Not people you want to mess around, but you can still bargain up to a point. Um, cut price market events last longer. Bargains on my quarry. Reduction to hero hiring and pay costs. Heroes tend to have big egos and variable price structures. All right. Um... Go for panic stations, just in case. And apothecary. Most towns will have an apothecary, a dedicated medical professional, and a master of treatments. As luck would have it, this is one such place. The apothecary takes one appraising look at you, then takes an educated guess at your malady. Stab wound. Statistically speaking, this is always a good guess to make. Okay, can't do anything there. Um, Market-wise... I could sell my fruit, but 88's barely worth looking at. I'm basically full, so I can't really do a whole lot here. Tavern, some folks to hire here. Orla, an old soldier. One security, two defense, one health. Takes one turn. And security bonus in first round of battle. Kind of an okay morale. There's also Liliana, a local hunter that gives two security, no defense, one health. Two deploy time though, but Deadeye can attack targets in opposite quadrant. Uh, or a burly peasant, Zenith. Nice. Cool. Your chi will take you. You sound great. And uh, I'm tempted to grab Liana, but I'll, I'll, I think I'll pass. Challenge elderly peasants to Atten. Or escort peasants. Shit. I guess we're going to Atten. Oh yeah, I could only take one, right? Because I still have the quest for the... The roving cow. Okay. Well, the cow's not here. So we'll go to Oxtown. I don't know if I actually have time to go to Atten thinking about it. I kind of forgot about the cow. Atten's pretty far away. But we'll see what it can do. Road security's poor. Road speed is good. Caravan's healthy. Security wise. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So we can fire you, we can auto pay or pay you by increasing your morale by 50. We'll do that. There you go. And then pay them 10 to increase morale a bunch more, but I think 80 out of 100 is pr probably fine. Come for the food, stay the for the food. Also, we have ale. Oxtown's primary function has long been to provide food to the capital. Unlike Lancer, it favors pastoral farming, and the rolling fields are home to many sheep, cows, and lesser boars. Salt is in high demand to preserve the meat being sent east, Ale is also a local specialty. The best in the kingdom is often said to be made here. Oxtown is considered something of an intellectual hub, possibly due to all the local ale. We'll search for the mission. I guess it's not here. We'll explore. 
Oh god. Uh, Oxtown is a tranquil, bucolic town in the western outcrop of Peregrine. It stands a little apart, not just geographically, but philosophically as well. There's a strong strain of independent thinking here, a proud sense of being a little different, frankly. This sometimes comes across as, as contrarian. The people here are famously stubborn as their livestock. Lesser boars stare at your caravan, apparently unimpressed as you roll past the fields and toward the town itself. You soon abandon the streets of Oxtown and step inside the Hitch in Time, a local, a popular local tavern. Without a word, the bartender pours you a drink and slides it in your direction across the counter. Music change. <laughs> he then strikes up a conversation about the invisible hand, some theory which, he explains, regards how people will create an efficient and self-regulating economy in a free market just by acting in their own self-interest. Uh, agree. From what you've seen, the laws of supply and demand seem to keep everything working without much oversight. I can disagree. A system based around agents acting out of self-interest will inevitably collapse due to manipulation, greed, or incompetence. Or not interested. You're happy as long as people pay more for something than it costs to acquire. Not interested. Well, I suppose making ends meet must always be our first priority, concedes the bartender. Yet the bigger picture will always come to affect everyone in the end. We're each just brushstrokes on a canvas. He seems pleased with this metaphor. Uh, I've lost wits because I took the easy bull bullshit way out, but I've unlocked the tavern, so that's nice. And plus one intel found, Silver Hall's Burnish? Alright. So I can spend 200 for drinks for three hours. There, there's the apothecary, can't do anything there. Market? Oh god, their fruit is super duper cheap here. I gotta unload this fruit somewhere, man. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what do you got for missions? Combat. Brigands on the road to Arrow. Let's do it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Uh, missions. Aww. Yeah, we'll abandon that. We lose coins for abandoning it, but oh well. Let's go! Okay, so there's there's this. Our burly peasant versus a guy with a club. To battle. This is the deployment phase. Oh man. Uh, eight deployment time. I only have the one person, so it's whatever. Fist icon indicates which direction enemies will attack from. Select the direction slice, then slice your fighters and press assign to place them to defend that direction. Deploying each fighter costs deployment time, right? Score in blue beneath each fighter is security attack power, the score in yellow is their defense, and the score in red is their health, right? Press the cross on the fighter list next to those deployed this phase to cancel the deployment, allowing me to reassign them if I wish. For fighters deployed in previous rounds, you can withdraw them from battle during the deployment phase by pressing the withdraw button next to them on the fighter list at the cost of deployment time. Ugh. Um, sure, shit. Let's try it, I guess. A solitary enemy will attack from this direction and that direction. Okay, burly peasant. Assigned to here. Okay, that, that's all I've got. That is all I've got. So, movement phase. Move the fighters that have been deployed by clicking on them in the direction arrow. Sure. Next turn will take me to combat phase. Players' forces attack enemies in their quadrant before enemy forces return the favor. So we get first strike. Cumulative security. A score of all fighters is added with a dice roll of 1 to 3, then added to the total. This is compared to the cumulative defense score of the enemy fighters in that quadrant, plus dice roll of 1 to 3, with the difference resulting in that many wounds being suffered by enemy fighters. Once a player attacks have been made. So I guess the roll of one to three just ensures that like while you tick, like kind of overpower them by just a little bit, or maybe they overpower you by just a little bit, there's still a chance. Being able to disable that would be nice for a lot of people, I think. Um once the combat phase ends, if no side is victorious, then I'll be returned to deployment. 
If one side has won the battle, then the looting phase begins. You need to defeat all enemy fighters to survive until the end of round six. All right. I don't need to move you at all. So next turn. Couldn't really see the dice rules at all. Um, did, did anything happen? Movement phase again. Yeah, South I lost, of course. Two to one, okay. Uh, if the enemy were victorious in any direction, then they will get a chance to loot the cart. Each direction you lose will incur one chance of getting looted, so losing a fight in multiple directions can be very damaging. I'd love to see if the enemy successfully looted the cart from that direction. If your cart defenses hold during the looting phase and only one resource is taken from that direction rather than two. Okay. Successfully looting... Being successfully looted will result in damage to the cart and automatically fail any mission types where you are currently carrying cargo plus passengers. Also mean the current fighters lose morale and you may be injured. Okay. So we have one defense set on the cart by default. Um, apparently we had a defeat. They beat us, I guess. So sure. So lost looting. They rolled a one. They looted eight herbs and eight... What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Oh, I see. There's... We don't go through... Okay. I was kind of expecting, like, they attack and steal a couple things. And then next round I could, like, head down there and take them out, but I guess no. I just straight up fucking lost. Oh, okay. Uh, the Tranny Hunter. A deer flashes across the road not far ahead of your caravan, quickly followed by a whistling arrow which apparently misses its mark, pinging off a rock instead. Not long after this, the arrow is tailed by its inaccurate originator, a young hunter. He notices the caravan, turns and bows theatrically, then walks over. Yeah, fine. The lad is clearly not the greatest shot in the world, but he has a lot of enthusiasm for the concept of shooting arrows at things, and that is often half the battle for an archer. He doesn't want to stray too far from home, but he's happy to stay with the caravan for a few trips before heading back. You hire him on the spot, happy to add another fighter to the caravan. I wish he knew he'd only stick around for a couple turns before uh, heading off. Kind of a waste of money otherwise, but alright. Fine. It's considered a local hunter, maybe we could just keep paying them to stay, I don't know. So high arrow, um, the card's damaged and fucked up, so we have to take a look at that. Uh, I, I can't do that here, I guess. I don't think they have a thing here for that, or something. Alright, well, mission-wise, we're empty now. I guess. Um, looking for the, the stray cow or whatever apparently failed when we got attacked for some reason. There's some wild animals on the road to Archon, so we can try again. We'll, we'll try that. We'll see how that goes. But, now that I know how combat's working, I absolutely need more people. A poor mercenary, another burly peasant. Uh, we'll go for another burly peasant. They just, they look strong, I don't know. And we'll go for Rodney. Alright. And we'll just, we'll just offload the, the fruit here. I guess. Iron's pretty cheap. I'll buy it. Okay, so on the road to Archon. There's the wolves. Okay, to battle. So we're being multiple enemies from up there and a solitary enemy from there. So we'll go with Burly Peasant. Ah, right, the sign. We'll get the local hunter up here with the old soldier. So that's three and two. Um, 
We'll, we'll see about that. I wonder how many enemies multiple enemies is. Okay, there's an alpha wolf up there. So let's go... Willow? To the upper quadrant, please. So north is five and three. Or five versus three. East is one v one. Rodney, whoops. Shit, okay, good. Four versus three, two versus one. So we're a bit risky with the rolls, but that seems fine, right? Two and three, we lost up north. Three there versus one, we, we then... Man, that goes so fast, I can barely see what happens. Uh, to the movement phase now. Everybody up north. Player attack succeeded. And we got it. 50 experience and we got four of the hide. Okay. Did I have room for hide? <laughs> Cart. Yes, please repair. Holy shit. And there's nothing for structure slots or horses or anything part-wise. We could increase the... Structure for a thousand, that gives me a point of defense and some carry capacity and a concealment. Uh, that gives me a defense and a concealment, but no carry capacity. That just gives me some shoe upgrades, some speed. All right. Uh, mission wise, we didn't have anything, right? Okay. Escort to letter. Brigands on the road to Randos. Brigands! And security-wise... Conrad the Arch with three strength. And with Deadeye, that makes it quite nice. So you, you don't have any defense, but you can be in just not even the same tile as the enemy. So you should be generally okay, right? That makes you pretty powerful, I think. Um... We can fire... Yeah, we'll fire Zenith. Sorry, Zenith. And we'll pick up Conrad, the archer. Very expensive, but I think he's worth it. And market-wise, the leather we got, that was for free. We'll just sell that. The iron they've got is cheap. They've also got some cheap fruit. Uh, yeah, fine. We'll stock up on fruit again. And mission-wise, right, we're heading to Randos. Cart. Can't really afford a whole lot here. So, to Randos. Major demand for other? Missed that chance. So to battle. Multiple enemies from down there. We can get the Archer with Deadeye assigned in this quadrant now. Because you can attack across. And then everybody else down there. That, that's fine. 7 verse 2. Good fucked. 2 verse 3. Player attack succeeded and we won. Alright. Yeah, car capacity at maximum to carry looted goods. Thought so. Thought I would check, though. Yeah, everything's everything's cheap here. <laughs> so we got we got a lot of iron and a lot of fruit. Where can we go for iron and fruit? Below average. Above average. Fruit. We can go to Atten. Do you have anything to do for me in Atten? No. Not at all. Alright then. Uh, just to Atten then. First visit bonus. 
God's own armory. Day and night, the streets of Aden ring out with the sound of hammers hitting metal. The town's weaponsmiths are enormously productive, and it's said that if you find yourself on the wrong end of a sword, it's more than likely originated in Aden. How that is supposed to make you feel uh, any better is hard to say. The market. Cheap iron, but expensive fruit. So we'll sell all. Made a pretty okay amount of money on that. They don't have any... The iron's cheap, but they don't have any to buy, interestingly. I guess that's just, uh... Just because of who they are and how it is. Well, you don't have anything else for me to buy. So we gotta offload the iron, then. Iron is cheap just everywhere, man. I don't think I can go out there. Iron is cheap literally everywhere right now. God damn it. Uh, anything to do here? Some brigands? Sure. I should check security too. Yeah, I need to pay people. Quite expensive, but they're quite good. Fine. And cart-wise? We'll upgrade the rims. Give me a little more defense. Rules level 3 allow me to carry a bunch more somehow. Don't know how that works. And a bit of speed. Next upgrade for me, though, I think would be the reinforced structure so we get another defense. Alright, well, we got a bunch of iron, but nowhere to really bring it. We got the one mission to Randos, some, some dudes to fight, so I guess we'll do that, just run around the one missions. I don't know, it's... It's kind of an okay time kill game, but there's not a whole lot of actual game in it. I don't know. I'm a bit torn. Movement phase, next turn. Should be quite easily won. Yo. And we got three beer. Ale. Sure. Uh, main travel bonus. Okay. Missions done. Cool. Brigands on the road to Woodford, sure. We'll do that. What do you got in the market? That cheap iron. But none to actually buy. Herbs are super duper extra cheap. Ridiculously cheap, in fact. I'll make the trade. Okay. And the ale. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a good find there. So we're loaded up with extra cheap herbs, and we're going to wood for it for the thing. Uh, herbs aren't expensive anywhere around me. I don't know. Okay, cool. There's this guy. Open phase next turn, nothing too fancy that we're fighting player attack succeeds, annihilated, 50 experience, and end. Major demand for food. Alright. Uh security. Do I wanna trade anybody out? Not really anybody worth it. More brigands and some peasants to Oxtown, sure. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. It's, um... It's okay. I see it as, like I said before, it's it's a time kill game, you know? If you got, like, a really boring as fuck weekend going, I don't know what the hell to do. This might be the type of thing to boot up and just kind of hang around with for a bit, but man, it's... Maybe it's just a bit of a grindy start. Maybe the game just in general is like this. I don't know.
find best location in Woodford, Oct Lancer, or Oxtown. Well, I'm heading to Oxtown, which is at the end of the path down there anyway, so... Uh, Lancer was... Oh yeah, Lancer's like way off the beaten path. We're not doing that. On the way to Woodford, some more animals to kill. Sure! We'll... I kind of don't want to do auto pay. Still no hero. Some some fancy looking dudes though. And we can offload our herbs here. They're a normal price. That's fine. And they got some fruit for super cheap. We'll buy all of that. So we're heading to... How's my cart actually? Yeah, we'll repair that. And you don't have any parts by chance? I feel like I find the parts. I acquire cart parts to fit them in. I feel like I don't buy stuff here. I just I find them out on the road or something. Uh some shoe upgrades, sure. Why not? Okay. So up to Woodford real quick. There's that. A sign, and the three of you over here should be fine. Yeah, that'll be okay. Enemy's defense holds down in the south. Shit. GG. Part defenses prevented damage, though, so they only took six fruit. Man, what the fuck? I don't understand the whole thing about them taking one or two. I don't get it. I guess that's just, like, you should always have somebody on the tile. Always, no matter what, so they still have to get through a person and it's not just a clear path to the cart? I don't know. Uh, mission-wise, we have a spot. Collect chest at Oxtown, then return here. Brigands on the road, we'll take the brigands, I guess. Although a thousand for that one is pretty nice. But we're heading to Oxtown, so... That, that is what it is. I'll buy herbs. Back down to Randos. There's those guys. Everything at max. I probably shouldn't load myself up full at max when uh, when I know I'm going to be doing a combat because of stuff like this. And that's back at Woodford. I'm not going back to Woodford. You have nothing for me. To Oxtown. 68 hours. And we skilled up a little bit. I... Can't get that, though? I guess I would need two upgrade points for it, right? Moving forwards, let's touch base offline if you have the bandwidth. Impresses potential clients. Whew. What the fuck ever. Uh, another higher slot. Yeah, a bunch of higher slots. I'm, I'm okay for that. I guess I'll hang out for more leadership or something. I don't know. Heart. Uh... I'll go for a reinforced structure. Why not? There we go. And we're heading to right Oxtown. Do you have anything for Oxtown or Arrow? Not, not really. Okay. And market-wise, we'll sell that. And we'll keep that open for potential battle or something. I don't know. to Arkan. I, I suppose I'll grab that, wild animals. Continuing on to Oxtown, though. 
and sell the fruits. We can buy wool for super cheap. Bought all of it on accident. Oh well. Wild animals seem emboldened in these dark times. They can probably smell the blood. You can see a bank of wild, cunning eyes spread around you, and somehow you know there are more sneaking up behind. You had your chance, Wolfie. You've had just about <laughs> you've had just about as much of these furry bastards as you're going to take. Fight them. So archer up here. We'll put a burly peasant down there too. And then local hunter and old soldier over there. Moving phase, looks fine. Enemy defense stands there, but I've got people there, so it's not over yet. Moving phase, you move to the right quadrant, er, uh, Willow, move over. And we got it. Okay. Mission complete, so just the one skill point. So, wild animals from arrow to archon, so we're heading there next. I don't know, I might just end it here though. Fuck, I'm already at the, um, at the point where it's like, it's a little too grindy for me to really care too much and bother with more. Um, it just seems like a game that you can just like hang out with for a weekend or something and kill time. Um, the map's, the map's not the biggest unless there's more land out there. I don't, I don't know. Potentially more goods and stuff like that. There's just these events that are happening and I don't know. It's, it's really simple though. Like, holy shit, simple. Uh, this is just free play though, keep in mind. So it could be that maybe playing with like the story and stuff like that's probably a lot nicer and, uh, better for killing a weekend with, but I don't, I don't, there's not a whole lot of gameplay with it. It's pretty simplistic. Um, how much is it on Steam? 11 bucks. It's 11 bucks on Steam. So I don't know. Maybe that's worth the tier or not. I feel, I feel like 11 bucks is kind of an okay price for it. You you could you could down a weekend with it. Um, that's just man, nothing to record, nothing to stream, just something to just just yeah, time kill. Playing on a tablet or something, you know. I made a comparison to Gazillionaire before, and the thing that Gazillionaire did that's different than this game is Gazillionaire had a heck of a lot more. Um, random events happening, and you had competition. There were other people going around, some of them had a faster ship than you, some of them slower, some of them had more carry capacity, some of them simply just got really lucky, and you'd arrive at a planet thinking like, oh, I'm gonna sell, you know, 500 tons of hair tonic, I'm gonna make a huge profit, it's gonna be fantastic, but then you show up and it turns out, well, somebody already beat you to it, you know, this fucking guy, Mr. Uh, Mr. Zen, I think he was the banker, actually, I don't know. Um, but some asshole already beat to it and sold everything and now the price is no longer as it is So you have a bunch of hair tonic. What do you do with it? Well, you could put it in a warehouse for storage and stuff like that and uh, It was just there was a whole lot more going on. This game just doesn't have any of that It's just you're the only trader in the world question mark going around and there's barely any events like I Hardly any I think I got maybe two um, Not not much going on at all would really like to see more.